To determine if CCL4 is polar or nonpolar, we'll look at the Lewis structure, and that'll tell us where the electrons are distributed, how they're around that CCL4 molecule. So here is the Lewis structure for CCL4, and it looks like a fairly symmetrical molecule. We'll need, though, to look at how these atoms might spread out to make sure we understand the shape and therefore the polarity. So each of those chlorine atoms, because they're surrounded by electrons, they're going to spread out as far away from each other as they possibly can, and that'll give us this shape right here. So you can see the green, the chlorines, they're spread out as far away as they can from each other while still being bonded here to the central carbon atom. If we look at the surface of the molecule, that'll kind of give us an idea of how the electrons are distributed around the whole molecule here. So let's look at the molecular surface, and you can see that there really is no net difference in charge. It's uniform around the CCL4 molecule. That's because although the carbon and the chlorine do have a difference in electronegativity, these chlorines, they're all pointing in opposite directions and they cancel each other out. So our net dipole is zero and that gives us a nonpolar molecule. This is Dr. B with CCL4, which is a nonpolar molecule. And thanks for watching.